Hello and welcome back to the Southampton save. Today we've got uh, two Premier League games for you. One against Crystal Palace and one against Liverpool. Uh, we're in January now and there's been a bit of transfer movement. So I'm going to show you that now. Who's gone out? Cedric has gone out to Swansea for an uh, initial fee of £6 million, but that could rise to 9.25. And then uh, Gangzu came in for Jose Fonte. I said no, um, but then... He got a bit aggy and he said, oh, I need to go, so we sold him. And uh, Cuco Martina has also gone. As a result of losing uh, a centre-back and two right-backs, essentially, even though they were backup right-backs, we've uh, we've brought in Martin Casaras on a free transfer. The 29-year-old uh, Uruguayan was on a he was on free transfer, actually. He'd been let go by Juventus and no one, no one wanted to sign him. So uh, he's come in as sort of a backup, I'd say, as a centre-back and a right-back in case we need him. Uh, don't expect him to play too much, although valued at 13 million. Maybe we could uh, look to sell him at some point. And then we've brought in this chap called Thales for 3 million from, uh, where are we getting from? VDG, whichever Brazilian team they are in the second division. It's 3 million. He's got uh, 4.5 star potential, 2.5 star current ability. Um, and he, he played for us in the FA Cup against Blackburn which we won 3-0 and scored a goal. So he's on the bench today against Bristol Palace. Um, in the Premier League, we lost to uh, Arsenal, sort of expected to lose that at the top of the table. And uh, we beat West Ham 3-1, which was good. That was a nice win. Um, and we've had a bit of an injury crisis. As you can see, Austin, Classy and Pierre are all injured. Uh, oh, Castoras, actually, he's not... Right, I need to fix this to, uh, to make him register. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so uh, Casares is now registered. He's on the bench, which means that uh, Jan Valery, he was in the under 23s, he was on the bench today, but he's not now. And uh, due to the other injuries to other players, Sam McQueen has come through to uh, be on the bench today for us in the under 23s, so he might get a game if he's lucky. Um, but the starting lineup is it's starting to look a bit a bit set now. Forster in goal, Bertrand Cahill, Van Dijk, and Shilly at the back. Romero is the CDM. Walprouse, Davis in the middle. Tadic and Rodriguez on the wings and Moreno up front. Okay, so we're kicking off now against uh, Crystal Palace. And I'm hoping for a a good win today. Crystal Palace are a good few places below us and we need to start getting some, some high wins to get that goal difference back up because we're not great on the goal difference actually. Um, and we're starting to lose a little bit of ground to the teams ahead of us and we need to make that up. And it's all getting quite bunched up there. There's only six points between second and sixth. So goal difference is going to be key. So we need to be scoring a couple goals this game. And Crystal Palace are a good team to do it against. Uh, however, we've only had two shots in the first 20 minutes, which isn't great. So we need to look at creating a few more chances. It's the first highlight of the game, actually, this one. And it's a Crystal Palace corner, which nothing came of it. However, Flamendi has just hit the post, which is a bit worrying. Except, ah, oh, someone's offside, so it's all right. So our free kick and... Nothing more is going to come of it, but we've not been playing that well this game, really, actually. Looking at the stats, looking at the player ratings, we should be doing a lot better. And uh, as we come to half-time, there might be a bit of hair-dry treatment going on. Aggressive. Put on a worthy display out there. More prowess is motivated by that. Dusan Tadic. You weren't that bad, come on. No reaction. Well, after all that talk in the first half about needing to uh, needing to score a couple of goals, I'm just gonna, I'll take a, th a one 0 win at the moment. We just need the three points. But no one is playing very well. Crystal Palace are on the attack now. Townsend's got the ball, plays it to Connor Wickham, who has a shot, but it's well saved by Fraser Forster. He was our rock between the sticks this season. He's done well for us. I'm sure without him we'd be wouldn't be doing so well in the league. The corner's been cleared, but only as far as Townsend he plays it back to Goodbye. He plays it to Dan. And Memphis to pay, he's obviously playing for playing for uh, Crystal Palace now, had a shot at the end but nothing came of it. No one's playing too well. Deuce and Tadic has gotta come off and actually No, that'd be stupid, we need the win. Redmond's gonna come on. I would bring Wall Prowse off, but there's no one to come on for him, really. Um, 
we're a bit stuck with what we can do. I don't know if I should bring Shane Long or North Fales. I'm going to leave it as it is for now. I'm just a bit concerned that we haven't got great squad depth and actually we might need to go into the transfer window and use the money that we've got for those other players and just get one or two players on the cheap who can just bolster the team a little bit as backup players. Um, we haven't really got the money to be searching for first team players. I think Van Dyke is going to come off and we're going to bring on Castellas for his debut and we're going to bring Fellas on because I'm either one for the future, let's give him a go. He's got 20 minutes just to go out there and see what he can do. There's no pressure on my lad, he's not expected to score at his age. You know, actually he's 21 but just a bit of creativity up front maybe. He's picked up the ball there, puts into Davis who scores, he's got an assist. That is a fantastic piece of play there and uh, we've finally taken the lead against Crystal Palace uh, late on in the game but better late than never I suppose. Romero's looking quite tired but there's no one really to bring on for him. Um, unless we swap him with Stephen Davis and then bring... Oh, I can't make any more subs. I didn't even realise that. Ignore what I've just done there. And hopefully this will be the final final move of the game. We've got three minutes of added time. Palace on the ball, plays it to Ward Prowse. He plays it out to De Chilio. If we can just get a goal here at the end, that'd be fantastic. Nothing happened there. Jay Rodriguez hits the post. And it's been cleared by Bassong upfield to Memphis, who's on the counter attack now for Crystal Palace. He plays the punch and plays it to Connor Wickham. Oh, that was so close. We got the tackle at the end, but they went straight to Memphis to pie and he only hit the uh the side netting, so it was fortunate for us, but this should be the end of the game now. There it is. 1-0 win. We've got the three points. That's all we need, I suppose. Cautious. Well done. I'm not, I want to say, I want to keep the morale up. I don't want to let them down, but we need to be shown, we need to be playing better than that if we're going to be moving up the division. Okay, back for the Liverpool game now. Uh, the lineup's the same, except Redmond's come in for Jay Rodriguez instead in that attacking midfielder role on the right hand side of the pitch he's slightly better suited there and uh, Jay Rodriguez didn't have the best game last time out so he's come in for this game and see if we can make a difference against a strong Liverpool side which we, we beat 1-0 earlier on in the season I think it was 1-0 we beat them um, off camera that was a good game actually that was just before we lost 3-2 to Chelsea which is agonising we scored in the 93rd minute I think against Liverpool and then we scored, we conceded in like the 93rd minute against Chelsea to lose that game, so they want to get revenge on us today and they've mounted an early attack down this right hand side with Mane and Klein. Jordan Henderson plays in Milner, he's got acres of space and can just power it past Fraser Forster. Uh, it's not quite the start we would have wanted. Liverpool are the team right behind us, in fact they'll, they'll jump us. No they, have, no they won't, I thought they were going to jump us in the league, but obviously the, the points totals have been updated. They've got a free kick that is oh, scored again and we're now 2-0 down in 12 minutes. Sacco has scored that one and that is, we've got a bit of a mountain to climb already. Already we've only had one shot to their five and they're on the attack again. Henderson to Milner to Firmino to Coutinho to Sacco. They've all got O's on the end of the name. Um, Alberto, obviously, on the ball, blimey. I was not expecting this already. I thought we might have a closer game, but in the first half an hour we've been dominated by them. Lovren plays it to Sacco. Emery Cantor Firmino, who's, uh, he might be moving this summer. There was lots, oh, they just scored again. This is awful. I was saying Firmino, he was, I can't remember who was looking to sign him, but they were bidding around 50 million for Firmino, which is ridiculous. But we need to do something about this. This is just a poor, poor performance. I don't really know what to do at this point. We need 3-0 down at half 
half time. We're going to have to make a few tactical changes and I oh, thought they're going to score a fourth then. Hopefully we can launch a bit of a counter attack from this. Tadic plays it to Moreno who's through. Has a shot and I mean it's rubbish but that's probably the best chance we've had all game. It's the only highlight we've had. Okay, so what I've done is move us to a 4-3-3, taken Tadic and, uh, and Redmond off and put on Austin and Moreno. Uh, move Romero up to the middle. We're going to play narrow. And hopefully this will turn us around, but I don't have a lot of faith. Because we need to go attacking to score three goals, but when they've been so dominant attacking it's always a tricky one because you can't go defensive because you need to get back in the game but if you don't go defensive and they've already scored that many then surely they'll score some more it's always a struggle to know what to do and look at that, that was rubbish from us I wasn't even looking at what his name was, I was just too busy crying that they've, now they've scored four. And this isn't the first time that's happened, is it? Burnley scored four against us and that was awful. Four. It's not a good day to be a manager. Luckily Sunderland aren't winning, so uh, we're still in touch with them, who are in sixth. But Man City and Chelsea are making moves away from us. Hmm. Geordie Class is going to come up for Stephen Davis. However, oh, that's not going to do much, is it? I suppose. We might as well just go overload. You know, see what see what happens. Oh, I thought it was going to be a highlight then, but there wasn't even a highlight for us. Blimey. Maybe we really do need to go in the transfer window and look at who we can get in for us. Because this has not been good enough at all. Oh, it does annoy me when this kind of thing happens. After we had such a, a period of good good performances, we lost to uh, to Arsenal, but other than that, for about eight games we were, oh, and that just sums the day up, isn't it? We've just missed all, basically a sitter. <sighs> Romy attack again, but we had a run of eight games or so, apart from that loss to Arsenal, where we were pretty dominant, we had some good results, and to lose a game like this is just frustrating really. Man City came for Bertrand as well this season. This oh Thales has scored though. He scored in every game he's been in, but it's a bit of a consolation, isn't it? I say every he got an assist last game, did he? Not a goal. So I've just lied to you. But yeah, uh Man City came in for Bertrand offering about twenty million but we said no. And um he got a bit angry about that. He said why can't I go? I want to play Champions League football and I said, oh, we're going to get it for you this season. Um, but at this rate, it doesn't look like it. So he might be a bit angry come the end of the season. And that's the end of the game. A, oh, it's annoying, lost that. Why am I being nicer than that? Aggressive. Far from pleased from that. Right. Well, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will, uh, I'll see you next time.